or good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for joining me. This is a long-awaited one. It's a Biking Buddies motor vlog, yes, but this is a group ride. Now, we are in social restrictions, obviously, so we're observing rule of six. So we're meeting a couple of mates here, not ridden with them for months and months because of weather and lockdown and everything that goes with it. So I'm really looking forward to this one. So why don't you grab yourself a beer, grab yourself a brew, strap yourselves in and come along on this Biking Buddies motor vlog. Roll those titles. Where do you go when you're young, when you're restless, when you're fun, cause you're desperate. Oh, here they come for a chance, for adventure. What's your poison? What's your pleasure? Okay then folks, so what are we up to today? Well that's really straightforward, we're out on the bikes, we are four up which is really good, first time in a long long time. So we've got Carl out with us, we've got Speedy Joe and we've also got Jordan plus uh, yours truly myself as well. So we're heading up um, northwest pretty much. Final destination on this ride is uh, Pendragon Castle, I uh, really want to get some drone footage of uh, the castle. So we're going to take a little bit of a roundabout way up through Swaledale, up onto the top of the Spine of England, onto the Pennines, stop and get some drawnage, and then we're going to tumble back down uh, around the back of Sadbirds, through Hawes, taking the back roads and work our way back into the Tees Valley. So it's set to be a good one, we've got a beautiful day as you can see. The roads are dry, the air is a little bit crisp and chilly, it's first thing in the morning, but it's set to warm up quite nicely. Now there's one thing that is really nice about today and that's we're going to familiar destinations but we're using unfamiliar routes. So ordinarily to get where we're going we would be down here in the valley to our left. And, but I'm using a bit of the old sat nav witchcraft wizardry just to take us on some uh, different routes and I must say it's been successful so far. The scenery is absolutely fantastic. And uh, the other benefit of uh, taking these back routes is there is just nobody about. We've got the completely got the road to ourselves. We've got fantastic views. It's a good quality road. But uh, yeah, happy days. Here we are, the Yorkshire Dales, all to ourselves. Beautiful sunny day. Temperatures slowly easing up. We've gone from 9 degrees to 11 and a half and uh, it's still relatively early morning. So uh, it is really boarding well to be a very, very good day. Well, that really was a very interesting route and certainly a much better way to get ourselves to Reith. Here's the beautiful market town of Reith, high up in the Dales. What a spectacular route that we've just taken. I'm absolutely adoring this sat nav. Just sat at home, planning the route, bang it in, syncs with the, the devices. So that's mobile phone and sat nav. And uh, yeah, it takes you exactly where you want it to go. I want to know that sounds silly because that's what a sat nav is supposed to do. Uh, but unlike Google Maps, it's not trying to straight line me. Path of least resistance, it's taken me exactly where I've told it I want to go, which is possibly a better way of phrasing it. Now, I've kept the camera rolling just as we come through Reef here, uh, because as we uh, crest over the top, we do then descend down into uh, Upper Swaledale. Uh, what's incredibly stunning when we come over here, uh, very much, is the view. So let's get stood up so you can see all the way down Swaledale there. The river is so, so empty. We've had such a dry, long, dry spell. I mean, how fantastic does this look here? Just incredible living and riding where we do. And on a beautiful day like today, who could ask for more? So this little spot that we're at now really does see us pushing right up into Upper Swaledale. This is the River Swale, or what's uh, left of it here, just tumbling down. So, so dry, there's hardly any water in that brook at all. And those of you that will uh, recognise the area, you will see that very shortly. Morning, folks. You'll see very shortly we're just about to come up to the Butter Tubs Junction. Now we're not taking that today, we're going to remain in Swaledale, and we're going to go right up to the head of the dale and pop out onto the other side. That's the bit I'm hoping to get a little bit of drone footage of, so that's the Butter Tubs Road. It's an absolutely stunning day and an absolutely stunning ride, I know that for sure. I never ever tire of Northern Britain and the North Pennines. We're not quite in the North Pennines as such, we're at the Yorkshire Dales still. But certainly as we climb up onto the Pennine Plateau, you just get an appreciation around you just how 
vast and wide open and empty the north of England is. I'm so privileged to live here and even more so to be able to get out on the bike and ride in these beautiful areas and obviously take you guys along with me on the YouTube channel. So I would very much like to share this a little bit with you. This is pretty much the top of Swildill for us. We've got a few uh, small miles to do before we then climb up on the opposite side of the valley. You can see how the sides of the valley have completely closed in on us. We're pretty much at the head now. And uh, what we do find when we're this far up is uh, the river that's just down to our right, we're crisscrossing with it continuously, uh, just falls constantly over these uh, rocky ledges just fault lines in uh, the natural geography so that's definitely it then this sees us climbing out of Swaledale farewell to the river Swill and the beautiful dale itself we now climb high up onto the platter heading ever westward we'll get our first glimpses across towards the Lake District fairly shortly fellow biker once we climb up onto the limestone plateau and look how quickly that this scenery changes We've gone from uh, beautiful valleys, lots of uh, green fields, lots of greenery, lots of lambs. We're very much now into uh, open heathland. And this is the very head of Swildale that uh, we uh, kind of leave behind as we just traverse and head ourselves off, off to the right hand side. I mean, wow, 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 look at that. And everybody who knows me, you know how much I love these wide open, barren places. And this is right up my street, guys. Utterly perfect, utterly perfect for the bike. And the bike is utterly perfect for this kind of ride. Well, what an incredible ride this has been so far. And what an incredible place that we are in. This season's just coming up towards the summit. Yep, here we are. What a spectacular view. And just having adventure bikes and the ability to do this, amazing. So what an absolutely amazing view this is off the top looking over towards Cumbria we've just seen some fantastic drone footage there Carl rode up this track here to the top and uh, yeah there he is again just having a little bit of a play on the old KTM so yeah he took it up to the top I think next time we come here we'll definitely stop up at the top there um, so our next stop is down here we hang a left and then we're looking for Pendragon Castle and that's where we're heading so, uh, yep, let's get ourselves away. So here we are, Pendragon Castle. Didn't you can see the ruins there in front of us. We're just going to um, pop ourselves in this nearby here. Because this is Pendragon Castle. Perfect.
well that really was definitely worth a stop there at Pendragon Castle never been there before and certainly a place I'll go again unbelievably stunning I loved all the purple flowers just growing out of the wall probably not doing the wall of the conservation all that much good but uh, yeah it certainly looked good and I hope you enjoyed the drone footage as well always welcome little stops like that nice just to uh, have a spot of lunch there as well uh, now we've just uh, up the pace ever so slightly uh, we've just got to be back uh, into the Tees Valley uh, for late afternoon Speedy Joe who's riding with us she's doing the night shift on the, the Northumberland blood bikes tonight so uh, she can't be late for that one well we've pretty much come full circle now so to the left of me over this rise over there is uh, Swaledale and uh, we're presently in Wensleydale so that's the beauty about living where we do on the east side of the UK with our morning rides all day as we constantly have the sun behind us so when we're heading west the sun is behind us in the morning and when we're heading east in the afternoon well obviously the sun is westing so that's behind us in the afternoon it does make for us uh, some very pleasant riding conditions without uh, the sun blasting your eyes out, which is quite pleasant. Okay then folks, all this sees us on our last, uh, or our closing stretch, you should have said we're on the famous tank road now, uh, heading down towards the Tees Valley. We've probably got about 40 minutes worth of riding left to get home, so I'll not bring you along with that section. What I will say, however, is thank you very much for your company. It's been an absolute pleasure having you along, as always. I hope you enjoyed the drone footage, I hope you enjoyed some of the scenery that we were riding through just to uh, open your eyes to the wide open spaces we've got here in the northeast. So I will bid you farewell now, if you haven't done so already then give the video a like, give it a share, give it uh, a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep yourself up to date with everything that I'm uploading. So from me and the rest of the guys behind me there, thank you very much, keep it safe, keep it shiny side up and we'll catch you for the next one. Thank you guys, thank you, bye!